hey guys hey welcome to dues tube first video ever um so it's kind of exciting um and i just wanted to take you through kind of the number one thing that uh, the first post that i've had on a google classroom that's just going to kind of get us started into our very first week of online learning so um i wanted you guys to be able to take a look at it and i just want to go through just a few things so that you know what's important and what's not um so the first thing is is that uh is that what we what we want everybody to do is we want all um, of your parents to get onto school zone and uh, and that's super important so um, so that's the first number one thing and so if they don't know how to get onto school zone if your mom or dad don't know how to log in they need to phone the school on Monday that's super important because it's the only way they're gonna get in and school zone is the parents first contact but your guys's first contact is the Google classroom and so um, and so that's super important for you to know and I want you to know that on Monday morning at 9 o'clock in the morning that you're gonna see a whole bunch of different posts from your core subject classes so like math science LA social and it's gonna pop up there sometime after nine o'clock on Monday and that'll be your first um, online learning uh, deal and so if someone's gonna post maybe a video they might post some assignments going on um, just so you know that um, but that's super important too and so just make sure that you know that whenever you want to log on in the mornings you're going to see content that's going to happen there and uh, on monday we're also going to post our first schedule and that schedule is going to say uh, basically what classes you're going to be looking at every day of the week so just so you know you're not always going to be doing math every day you're not going to be doing uh, social every day you're only going to have certain days that you're going to be doing those subjects so um, you're going to see uh, a little bit more of la and math and you're going to see a little less of science and social however each of those uh, categories will be on your schedule and you'll see when you log on to the classroom in the morning uh, which classes you need to look at that day and so that's important and you're gonna get that on Monday morning um, and uh, yeah and so I also kind of just let you know I need the parents I need your parents to be logging on to the Google classroom and uh, what I mean by that is they actually need to be getting these like daily reminders that tells them exactly what you're learning now your parents can't see your Google classroom they can't get onto your classroom but they can see a list of everything that's happening and if your parents have already been getting these emails um, every so often maybe weekly um, they need to actually change something and this is where I need your help so if you can kind of follow me I'm going to show you how you can help your parents get daily uh, reminders for the Google classroom and what they're seeing just so that you understand and so that all of us are on the same boat um, I really need this to happen by next Friday so I'm really hoping that everybody that's watching this really gets to their parents and says you know, mom, dad, I need you to do this for dues because, and for every teacher really, um, because we need to make sure that everybody's there. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it right now. Um, when you go to your email, if your parents are already logged on, um, they will be getting this email and the email will be called no reply. And so, um, and so you'll notice here on mine, it says daily summaries for Jill. So I am now Jill's parent. So no reply. And so you're going to go to the no reply and it's going to show you this daily summary for Jill. Now, most of you guys, um, most of your parents are receiving weekly summaries and that's not okay anymore. We need them to be, um, daily. So what I need you to do is I need you to take your parents all the way through. So this will say all the student work that we did this week. And I need you to take them through to the settings button and I need them to push that settings button. When they push it, there's going to be a screen that comes out. And uh, so right now you'll see that I'm Jill's parent and there's this little toggle box that says daily. And then up here it says weekly. Right now, most of your parents' emails will say that they're getting weekly um, things from the Google Classroom, but we need them to be turned on to daily. So you're just gonna do like that, and once it's finished, that's it, that's all you have to do. You can X out of the box, you don't have to push save, it just remembers that it's daily. And then what that means is that they'll be receiving daily reminders of what you're doing, and, uh, and they'll be able to kind of see the assignments that are coming in. That's the most important thing that I need your help with. Now, if your parents aren't on, um, uh, they're not, they haven't given me like an email address that I can use to send stuff or it's not coming to them, then I need you to email me their email address. I need you to make sure that you get me an email address that they want to use. Um, it'll just save us a bunch of phone calls in the end. So please do that for me um, if your parents are not receiving weekly or daily emails. Now, if your parents just um, sent me an email, then they're gonna get an email and it's going to look just like the box that I showed you over here. 
um, and they are going to have, uh, it's going to be a request, and they need to make sure that when they get that request, that they turn it on to daily, not to weekly. So that's the most important thing that I need you guys helping me out with. Um, yeah, and then kind of the last piece of this little note that I put on Google Classroom is going live and online. And I know you guys are like dying to go online and to see each other and to chat, and we are going to do that. Um, but uh, there's a few ways that we can do that. Right now, we can use um, Google Meet because it's basically right inside. And if you go into your screen here, I'll show you. If you go into your Google Apps right here, there is Google Meet right there. And you actually have it. It's free. It's there. You don't have to download anything. Um, it just doesn't have as many features as some thing called Zoom. And so I uh, have asked you in this email, if you could on any tablet, device, phone, um, computer, can you download this app? And um, what it will do is it'll bring you to the download center and can you just download it or get it on your app? This is going to be a great way to communicate if we can all get on. Now, if you're using a, a borrowed Chromebook from the school, you need to know that you can't, it doesn't allow you to download the app. But I have a workaround and I can actually get you on to meetings. Um, so if that's you and you're going to be using only your Chromebook and you can't use anything else, um, I can get you into these Zoom meetings um, just by using the browser. But I have to teach you how to do that. It's kind of a weird workaround. So um, I'll be showing people that are just on their Chromebooks how to get onto Zoom. Um, but we want to have two venues available, Google Meet and Zoom, if possible. So if you can download that before uh, the end of this coming up week so that we can get on together, the nice thing about Zoom is that we can all be in a classroom together. We can all see each other's faces. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Look for that. Um, the last thing that we're going to be using is this thing called Flipgrid, which um, I'll probably make a video about a little bit later, but stay tuned on the Google Classroom for an intro to Flipgrid. It'll, it'll be pretty easy for you to use, but just wanted you to know. So thanks for watching my video. Thanks for uh, joining me on uh, on the Monday mornings to see your schedule, to see all your new stuff, and uh, we'll get uh, going. And uh, yeah, and hopefully you are eating um, some exciting yummy foods and having fun with your family and watching lots of shows and doing things, but also just finding other things to do, like um, any new kind of hobbies that you have, whatever. Um, but we're gonna have some fun. So um, yeah, can't wait to see you guys soon. See you later.